everyone! Today we're going to do an Apple unboxing. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and if you're already a subscriber, then a huge thank you. I really appreciate it so much and welcome back. I'm going to feature the latest iPhone 15 Plus in this prettiest of pastel pink shades along with the Apple Silicon Casing Guava, which I qualify as more of a strawberry red type of pinky vibe. I hope you enjoyed today's video, so let's unbox away. Let's take a look at the box. So on the front of the box, you can now see at the top the dynamic island, which we will now have on all the iPhone 15s. And of course, here's all the sides of the box. And now let's take a look at the back. So again, there is no plastic packaging anymore in these. Apple's commitment to be more environmentally friendly. So let's rip these stickers off so I can show you what's inside. Now the particular model iPhone I got was the 512 gigabyte model. And as mentioned, this is a lovely pastel pink shade. Later in the video, I'll compare this with other pink apple products in case you are buying this online and want to understand just how pink this is. Also in this video, I'll be shooting everything in natural light with no filters so you can see its truest color and I really hope this helps. My initial impression is how lightweight this feels. It's aluminium or aluminium design with a ceramic shield front and color infused glass back. Gives it a frost matte like finish. Compared to the iPhone 14 Plus, I definitely prefer these matte logo vibes. So let's look at the phone's edges. On the left side, we have the mute switch, we have the volume up and down and the SIM tray. Please note there is no action buttons on the iPhone 15 or 15 Plus. Here's the top of the iPhone, here's the right hand side with the power button. So on the bottom, we have the charging port USB to C, along with speaker and microphone. Say goodbye to tons of annoying fingerprints with its fingerprint resistant oleophobic coating. And if you didn't know like me what oleophobic means, it means materials that are resistant to oils. The display and edges have rounded corners that follow a beautiful curved design and these corners are within a standard rectangle shape. For comparison, it's safe to say that the edges and corners of the iPhone 15 models are curvier than say the iPhone 14s. Now let me show you what else you get inside the box. So as you can see, you get this new braided USB to C cable, which I will discuss further in this video. I'm really interested in looking and learning about this more. You also get what I call the documentation as such. You get this SIM key removal tool, all the documents and an Apple sticker. This updated braided nylon USB to C cable means saying goodbye to the lightning ports we've had for years. On closer inspection, it feels way more sturdier and higher in quality, like this new Apple cord won't fray away. USB to C is a universally accepted standard that enables charging, syncing data and playing audio and video. It's faster and delivers better charging power. And I'm most excited about its reverse charging capabilities. The 15 series handsets can themselves charge up other smaller devices. For example, if your AirPods or Apple Watch run out of battery while you don't have access to a charger, now you can use your iPhone's battery for a little extra juice rather than carrying a battery pack around. Additionally, if you plug an iPhone 15 into another iPhone 15, they will work out which has the lower battery and transfer power that way. So if you have a low battery and a friend with an iPhone 15 has a full battery, you can plug your iPhone 15 into your friend's iPhone and charge yours up that way. So cool. Now let's talk camera. If you were lucky enough to have an iPhone 14 Pro, you know that it came with a 48 MP camera. Now I can feel lucky regardless because Apple is introducing that on the entry level iPhone 15 and of course this iPhone 15 Plus. Interestingly note, it still shoots 24 MP shots as standard. The middle 12 MP of the sensor is used for a two times telephoto zoom for photos and video that Apple says is as good as an optical zoom. So basically it comes with the 0.5, the one times and now the new two times. Its next generation's portraits mode means the focus can now be switched from one focus to another even after the photo has been taken and you can now turn any ordinary photo into a portrait photo at a later time should you wish. I'm planning on doing a more in-depth video once I test out all the camera capabilities so please hit that like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out. So let's chat brightness. On the left is my iPhone 14 Plus and on the right is my iPhone 15 Plus. So one of the biggest upgrades to the iPhone 15s this 
this year is their brightness. Peak HDR brightness now reaches up to 1600 nits, so HDR photos and videos look better than ever. And when it's sunny, peak outdoor brightness reaches up to 2000 nits, twice as bright as the previous generation. And it's something I'm especially able to appreciate on these mostly always sunny Dubai days. Here's a quick close up of the dynamic island on the right, which I'll talk about next. So yeah, Apple have added this dynamic island, which was introduced on the iPhone 14 Pros in September of last year's, but now it's available on all of the new iPhone 15 models. And basically it's an interface that services as a special notification alert and command area of the phone. So you'll be able to do a whole host of things in which I plan on making a more in-depth video on it all coming soon. Here's how it looks when the screen is not as bright and here when the screen switches off. All right, this is future me. And one thing to note on this new iPhone 15 Plus is its battery life. This has to be the best battery life of any iPhone I've ever owned. I've literally came this phone and it's lasted me just over 13 hours. Also, I mentioned how light it feels, but the grip feels much more secure. I think it's something, like I said, you can only notice and really appreciate it when you're actually holding it firsthand. For all, I'm enjoying its new contoured edges and the color infused back glass. You can see here how good the matte finish looks and it gives the phone a smoother kind of feel. Let know in the comments if you like this more muted Apple logo. Next up, I'm going to unbox this iPhone 15 Plus silicon case. Now, as I mentioned, I got it in the color guava. Here's all the details on the box. So let's open this on up so I can show you its true color. Now, I really rate Apple's silicon cases. I've used them for years. They have literally saved my iPhones from many a fall, especially the front, the glass bit, you know. So let's take this out. Now, this is called guava. To me, it reads strawberry red. Um, strawberry red's defined as a pinky reddish color. I do love this color. I think it's such a pretty pop of color. Here's the whole case, just turning it around. Of course, it's MagSafe. Now let's see how it clicks on to the phone just perfectly. And I love this pop of pink and ready pink on it. So cool. Everything fits great. And like I said, these protect your iPhones really well, in my opinion. Here's another close up just so you can see. And this is how it looks from the front. Now I'm shooting the case and the iPhone 15 Plus in pink in natural sunlight for you. It's direct natural sunlight, so I hope you can see again the true reflection of what the colors look like. I'm just trying to do my best to portray that to you all because I know a ton of you buy these things online. So I really hope this video is helping to give you the exact color, how the colors read. Okay, now let's do a case, a silicon case sort of comparison test. I've got the iPhone 15 Plus silicon case on the right in guava, and I've got my iPhone 14 Plus silicon case. This is in pink chalk. Now, please note this year's um, pink is actually called light pink by Apple for the 15 Plus case. And I believe it's just a slightly lighter pink than this chalk pink is. But let me see if the iPhone 14 Plus case will actually fit my iPhone 15 Plus. Let's do a little test. All right, so we've got the iPhone 15 Plus in pink. We've got the iPhone 14 Plus case in the chalk pink. Let's see if it'll fit. Putting it on, it seems to fit really well. As you can see, that fits really well actually. And if I try to <laughs> shake it out over the carpet, nothing's falling. So that's pretty cool. So the only difference as far as I can tell is when you look at the base of the cases, the 14 Plus case and the 15 Plus, I feel like the actual, uh, where the USB to C port is, it's a bigger size, you know, it's like a bigger, it's not a circle, but you know what I mean? It's a bigger oval type shape. That's really the only difference, I believe. They pretty much marry up perfectly on this side and also on this side and also for where the cameras are. So from my testing anyway, I don't think you would have a problem putting the iPhone 14 plus case silicon on your new iPhone 15 Plus. In saying that, I'm going to put a big disclaimer here. I don't know if that's the case for the new 15 Pro versions. And of course, I don't know if that's the same for the 15. I am only testing and letting you know about the iPhone 15 Plus, all right? So I hope this might help somebody as well. And another thing to note with Apple's cases is they're no longer making the leather cases. They're now making something in its place called the fine woven design. 
I'm personally going to stick to the silicon cases. Like I said, I've used them forever and I really rate them. But if you do buy a fine woven new Apple case, let me know again how it works for you in the comments below. Now, as promised, I thought I'd do like a color comparison uh, for you all. Like I've got the iPhone mini 6 iPad. I've got my iPhone 14 plus in the purple and I've got my iPhone 15 plus here in the pink. If I do a close up, even though the iPad is classified as a pink by Apple, you can see how beautiful and pink the new pastel pink, I should say, the new iPhone 15 Plus is. Here it is compared with the chalk pink iPhone 14 Plus case on the left and again my iPad mini 6 on the right. Here I am comparing it to other pinks, different shades of pinks if you will. Just hope that could give you some sort of guidance as to how pink or how pink you think it is. Um, in my opinion, it's more of a really light, almost white pink, but it is stunning in real life. So that's it for today's video. I'm going to end my unboxing here and really hope you all liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you want to say hi or have any questions and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.